So, Tiny, would you pay 500 bucks for a rotting, abandoned Toyota Sienna van 1998? Rotten tires, broken door handles, years upon years of crud and filth packed into every crevice. Hmm? What do you think? Hmm? Would you pay 500 bucks for something like that? Well, I'll tell you what, before you fall asleep, we're going to go find out on this episode of Junkyard Jeep. So one of my dad's neighbors, their son had a van, a Toyota van, a very old Toyota van. Well, he moved to the other side of the country for some bartending job. And left the van. Um, been sitting there for years. Um, he just left it. And uh, now they just want it gone. And they don't know if it runs or if it drives. It's been sitting there forever. Um, of course, drove when parked. So we're going to go see if this thing's worth buying. Uh, if it runs and drives or if it can get running and driving. Um, and to see if this will be our goat hauler and kid to hauler. Let's see what happens. On this episode of It Might Run or It Won't Run, <laughs> on this episode of It Won't Run, 98 Sienna. This is either going to be a goat hauler. I need a goat hauler bad. Kid picker upper. Uh, parts hauler. Or a quick flip. Which one will it be? Well, let's see if the darn thing moves it under its own power. <sighs> so, look at this beaut, huh? All original. What's the mileage you said? Uh, like 150K? Or was it less than that? And only two, whore da only two door handles on the whole thing. Not even the back has one. Not bad though. Look at this door panel, man. Uh -oh. It's not bad. No key. Oh, okay, good. We can just use a screwdriver and get violent. <laughs> hey, man, you got a key? You got a key, Toyota. Look, dude, how many goats go back there? I bet, I bet you I could put six goats there easily, dude. And they can stand up. You can put DG back there. Hey, man, where's the key? Donde esta la pinche llave? Oh, boy. No hay llave. Por que, Juan? Por que? All right, let's go find some keys. Well, fellas, for two-year-old gas, she, uh... She's got a nice aroma to her. She smells like good gas. I don't smell any varnish. I don't smell. I just smells like freaking 87 octane from Circle K. Uh, where's the, okay. Will it crank? Boy, that's a loud bell. We, we had something. Come on, fuel pump. The fuel pump might have gone south. No? No check engine light. Are we running in all six? Oh yeah, we're running in all six. Oh, they did something here. Timing bell alignment record. Oh, they put a timing bell in it at 187. It's got a new timing bell. Oh, look at that's got a new timing bell. It's a driver. Nice! Dude, it's got a new timing belt. You know how hard that is? Let's drive it. Let's drive this turd. Yeah! AC's working! Holy crap, dude, the AC's working. No, wait, no noises? 219K. You lied. You said 100K on the phone. You lied. All right. Uh, I did not, I don't know about the coolant. It had coolant in it, but I don't know if it breaks. What do you do? Step on it? Alright. You see, we go back. Oh, 
She's comfy. Hell yeah, look at this. It's got two. Look at this. Dude! Oh shit. Do we have brakes? I don't know. <laughs> Pump them up. We got brakes. They're a little squishy, but they're just. Oh, it been yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I know. We, we got good brakes. We got good brakes. Holy shit, dude. This thing's good. I'll take it. Oh, she's a, she's a school bus. There's a hot rod. All you got to do is clean it up, man. Hey, you want to take that to the gap and flip it over? Previously on Junkyard Jeep, John flips his Jeep. And then we'll come rescue it with this sweet van. Go all the way down to that end street down there. The belt's a little old. The belt's probably old. The serpent, the, the drive belt, it's a little squeaky. She might come around. Damn! Oh, she pulls to the left. Oh, you might be tired. Watch out. She, yeah, I think this, all the tires are almost flat. Or no air in. Yeah. Holy crap, dude, we're cruising. Shift, baby. Oh, yeah. Good, strong shift. Oh, yeah. Transmission's excellent. The transmission is good to excellent. Engine seems to be fine. She pulls to the left like, uh, like we're hooked to somebody's truck. Cassette player. Nice. Oh, it works too. Oh, I'm going to tell J J JJ to bring some heavy metal tapes. Dude, I got Dawkin, Iron Maiden, Tony McAlpine, Lynch Mob. Got some Gingway. The antenna is there. I see. The antenna works. It's right there. Guys, look at this. We got all the original paperwork. Sweet 98 vibe uh, car ready discman and our, wait for it, wait for it, cassette adapter. Which, and it's a Sony, look, which goes with the Sony. This is a good brand. Dude, all the original, and they put a freaking timing chain in this, or timing belt. AC definitely needs to be charged, but it's working. Okay, let's turn it off. So we need to get the AC charged. Everything seems to, where's the turn signal? Yeah, everything works. They spent $322 on tires. What was it, what's the day, is there a date? What's the sale date? I'm looking for. Maybe down at the bottom. I bet you it was like 15 years ago. Oh, uh, date 1 3 2016. Okay, oh six shit. So we got six, we got tires that were six years old, six years ago. Oh, no, leave it running. Oh, check the lights. I'll tell you to go. Battery's still good. We don't even need a battery. A brand new battery in there. Somebody took okay. care of this thing, even though it's like beat the hell. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's the left turn. Uh, let's see. Right. Shut her down. Yeah. Here, open the. 
So, the gypsy curse of Jeep life is still running strong here at Clunkyard Jeep. We checked out the van, we got it running, it was awesome, we had a blast, we had fun going through the glove box. That was, uh, that was an absolute riot. It's like a time capsule. I hop on my rock crawler, I head home, uh, I take a shortcut through the neighborhood and I go over the speed pump and I lose all power. No fuel pump, no ignition, no power to the starter. We put jumper cables on, I called my dad uh, <laughs> we couldn't get power to nothing. And it's like 108 and we had already been working on this van for like a good, you know, hour messing around with a stupid thing. So here we are now, broken down in this residential neighborhood in this butt ugly rock crawler that has no power at all. So now we get to fix that. Jeep life. Jeep life strikes again. So we got the key switch out. We got parts and crap everywhere. I went over that speed bump and all the wires fell off my key switch. How come I rolled over at the gap and they didn't fall off then? So now we get to redo this whole key switch on the side of the road, the Colorado to the rescue again. This Colorado is uh, becoming a, uh, uh, a regular guest star here on this show. This thing's always bailing me out of freaking trouble. <laughs> so I'm gonna run a wire from the battery to battery, and then we'll see if everything else works. One of these is the fuel pump, and then she should start. I checked every fuse. I don't know what the heck happened, man. That was weird. Stupid speed bump killed it. So let's get some wires ran, see if she'll run. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we got the, the dog navigator, the other dog navigator. So our stupid ends, our electrical ends will not fit over the key switch post. Can you believe that crap? Let's drive all the way back to the hardware store and spend another $40 on like five little things. Ugh, Jeep life. Bro, I, I ain't even making this up, bro. I ain't even kidding. At least it's nice out. It's only 108. I mean, let's, let's go for a nice long walk barefoot. Kitty? Kitty's first appearance on the show and Poncho's first appearance on the show. You guys are guest stars. Welcome to Junkyard Jeep, huh? Good grief. Jeep life. Well, I ain't an EG's guy. I'm a subway guy, but I'm dying of hunger pains here, so I had to do what I had to do. You don't like EG's? No, I don't like their bread at all. I like, this. I like Subway's bread. They bake it fresh. This tastes like it's been in a truck freezer for nine months. Sorry, EGs. <laughs> they ain't gonna sponsor my channel. But, in a pinch, she'll do. Huh. Well, now we got this piece of crap running, but I'm missing the, pow the nut for the battery post. Um, so yeah. I think this blue, this blue wire was behind the gas pedal when I went over the speed bump. It must have ripped it out. The gas pedal must have went down and pulled it off, so... Yeah, but now I don't have the nut for my battery post. I don't know where it went, fellas. Oh, I found it! Ah, that's what I did, okay. I double nutted one post. Yep. Alright. No more blue wire under the gas pedal. All under there. Look at that rat's nest. Painless wiring kit. It's a nice kit, but it's crammed in there. I hate these heater boxes, man. They take up all the space under the dash, and you have to cram your wires in there. Most of my Jeeps, I rip the heater out. We ain't need no heat where it's 109 to 5 o'clock in the morning. All right, let's see if this hot rod will pop here. There we go. The Colorado to the rescue. All right, man. 
So there you have it. It runs great. That 3OV6, whoo, boy, that thing's got a lot of power, even for that big old heavy van. That van scoots with that motor. Um, that's the same motor that was in my Toyota Avalon that I had. Boy, that thing was a hot rod. Um, so yeah, uh, all it needs is a simple charge in the AC, some tires, and fix the door handles. I mean, this thing drives great. It's got a new timing belt. That was probably really, that's probably six, seven hundred dollars. Whoever did that. Um, so we are just now waiting for the title to come in the mail. And the next episode, when you see this hot rod, we are going to be fixing it up. And of course, we'll have to give it a goat test. Because if the goats don't approve of it, you know, then, then the van has to go. It, it's got to go through proper channels, the right departments. It's, you know, the goats have to sign a waiver saying that it's acceptable. So you'll see that the next time we get the darn title if it ever gets here. On Clunk Yard Gleep.